Hi, welcome to the Voice of Calling YouTube channel. Today we will be working on Practice It. This is 2.19 Window. So the problem reads, write a Java program in a class named Window that produces the preceding figure as an output. This is the figure we need to create. Use the nested for loops to print the repeated parts of the figure. Once you get it to work, add one class constant to your program so that the size of the figure can be changed simply by changing that constant's value. The example output shown is at a constant size of 3, but if you change the constant, the figure should grow larger and wider proportionally. Okay, so basically we're just trying to create this figure, but we need to make sure that ours can change. So it's kind of like the other one, except we need to add on to it. So here I just made a static final int because we need that in order to check if our code runs. That's the um, constant size that they're talking about. And then, uh, basically, it's going to be at least one, the value they give you. So you need to make sure that you're able to do the first one. So all of this code is in order to print out this first section. So it's like that. You see here that we print a plus sign, a bunch of equal signs, depending on what R is, and then another plus sign. And then here we print out these lines um, a certain number of times. Here again, it's R. Uh, at the very end of all of this, we need to do window because we don't know how many times we need to do this code. So I made a separate uh, section of my code a separate um, in order to make it repeat over and over again. So here is kind of the same code at the top except it's in a different order because if you look here we need to print this at the end. So we need one at the top and one at the bottom. If you repeat this part of the code two times it's going to do this but it's not going to print the end. So what I'm doing here is just printing out one more of these lines and then the end. And the program should be working. So here's the first part of the code once again, and then this part to make sure you get the end. So now we can submit and it should be all correct. Thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe. 